Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to do a quick overview of the CoinPusher 365 prototype. So yeah, I already said it, it's a prototype and we're also going to give it away. That is even more cooler. You can own yourself on CoinPusher at home. So I have been looking myself for a CoinPusher for a very long time. And if I'm going to look around, what I only can find are like huge machines that take up too much space. And this bar top is an absolutely great solution for myself and maybe also for you. Having a CoinPusher 365 can be freaking awesome. Some. and take consideration this is a prototype so the latest model will have even like more improvements that we're going to talk about today but having a coin pusher some people were like quite negative back in the day about it and i completely understand because coin pushing is just like a fun game you play on a carnival but this thing is something different like i think it's something cool to have in your arcade room or just in your gaming room and it's just a lot of fun take consideration you can also like implement a lot of different gameplays and having a coin pusher can be a lot of fun not only like playing alone but also with friends they have released a lot of different models back in the day because this prototype is not like the first model they've released we're going to talk about it and also in a different video i particularly want to let's say check out what are we going to get with this coin pusher in general I was super excited to get this product in because I'm always searching for new arcade related products. Consider subscribing and hit the little bell because we do have like a lot of cool videos coming up in the upcoming time. So they have like the three slot input over here that give you like a little bit control to the say the random fall of the coin so we can push it in left, middle or right. Another element I love about the coin Porsche 365 when you're looking at the newer generation arcade machines. In those new machines, there's a lot of stuff going on in the inside, but particularly when you're looking at the gameplay, you don't have like a lot of control or control in a different way. With the Marvel machine I've reviewed, you would need to drop in the coin in a certain way, and then we're going to get some extra coins that will automatically drop inside of your machine. And that is the element that I basically like don't like about these new generation machines it's not like a very bad thing, but when you're looking at the coin pusher 365, it's going back to basics. You just have like one draw that pushes the freaking like coins around. There is no like crazy games inside the machine. It's just going back to basic, put in the physical coin and just have a little bit more control. And that is personally what I really love about this machine itself. Another thing they changed out in the new generation is this thing is made out of metal. So the casing itself, it's not that fragile like the previous model, what we're going to talk about in a different video. But again, like I personally really loved, like say the layout of everything. And I mean, like especially the color theme, the RGB lighting topper that they're having, everything looks so cool. You can decorate the machine yourself in the inside. And I think that's pretty damn awesome. It gives you more like a personal touch to your machine. You can use a thing like a piggy bank, for example, because you can lock it up. I think it's pretty cool. They give like a little bit of the authentic feeling. Of course, you can put an op in it to open it up and down. No, no, you just have a lock. So you need to lock it up so nobody can reach inside the machine itself. So again, like it's a very neat feature. Everything is made out of plexi, so you don't need to be careful to breaking the glass or something like that. But in the inside, this is basically what we're going to get. We do have like some elements of the original machine. Then we have like the RGB light up that will also light up inside the machine. So it's RGB, so we have like different colors, fade in, fade out, different patterns, and also light up the topper at the same time. Okay, so the gameplay itself, it's basic. So it's not like with the Marvel cabinet who have like a lot of stuff going on, bonuses, stuff like that. Maybe he can do something like that in the future. But what I love about it is the way how they made it. It's like super basic. It doesn't even consume a lot of electricity. I think it's around 18 watts that they're using. And again, like it's just a single motor that basically turns. And that is something that I think is very convenient. No special sensors whatsoever. So there's less parts that can basically like wear out or have problems maybe in the future. So when you're looking at everything, it has been made so simplistic. And then when you're putting in the coins, the only randomized thing you're having are the pins, of course. So you can put in the coins in a certain light slot, but still it can bounce on a pin and go to completely the different way that you want it to. So I think it will be like you have control, but the other side, you can still like have a little randomized like feeling to it. And that is something that I personally really love, especially when you're going to do a gameplay against somebody else's. Yeah, pushing the coins. I must say the gameplay itself, it's going to be very quickly. Uh, they did change out the room of the machine so you can put in bigger prizes in the newer version. So the prototype, you cannot cheat by the way, so you can stick your hand in, but there is no way of reaching in. So else there, they did some new implementations. 
Okay, so another thing I think is really cool, you can play with real money with some of these machines. I've been trying in the old machine 50 cents, but in the new model, he's told me that 2 euro is even possible. Then we can put him to cool gift, like a pirate, a tiny, let's say, coin, plastic coin. Then we have like some key rings, but a lot of cool things you can do with this machine. You can even put in some candy, I've seen people do that, so... Yeah, it's absolutely cool. It's just like a fun piece of decoration for yourself. I think that is one of those reasons I want to have this machine in my arcade room. In future, the older one didn't have the prototype, but also the new released Coin Porsche 365 will have this piece of metal. You can basically like slide to the top over here. You can even give like a little bit more, let's say, difficulty to push the points and the coins out. And it will give you like a longer gameplay. I think that's a very cool feature. It's such a like a basic thing they can change out. But I think it's going to be like an absolutely awesome thing to have in the newer machines. You can even like adjust it to a certain level. So let's say in the middle you need to have like more coins to push them out. And at the left and right, you can change it out a little bit more. But decoration wise, we do have some room for putting up, like say, a chest or a figure that I did in my previous coin pusher. The machine is made out of metal, so now with magnets, you can like decorate your machine. I think with the new version, you do get some extra coins or stuff with it. Don't exactly how much you're going to get. That is something we need to see in the future. I really love this tiny like treasure chest you can pick up. They are not like very expensive. I think you can find them on AliExpress. Then we have like these gems, same story, Aliexpress. So with the Coin Pusher 365, you're also going to get yourself like at the side, the extra, like say, gaps where the coins can fall in and also the points. So they will drop out of the playing field. So you cannot really win them. So I think it's a pretty damn cool thing to have. So at the front now with the new machine, you can basically like open it up over here and you can just basically slide it out pretty damn interesting so you can just get your coins uh, back from here but fun fact with the older machine we need to do it from the back with a big draw and then we don't have that oh about the back let's take a close look at that you don't basically need to be in here but i just want to give you like a quick inside the machine so the back plate have been like assembled with four screws to get the back plate in place i must say like this assembly and assembly i think is a little bit let's say more difficult than the older model but yeah, maybe it's me like whining about it. But the thing is like, uh, you just need to remove, let's say the bottom first and then the top ones. Let's loosen up the bottom ones. And when you've done this, you can just lift out the plate. Be careful because if you're going to do this, you need to always shut down the power. Always just to be safe. But let's remove this one over here. And then we can basically like get the last one and then be very careful. Let's push the plate back otherwise it will fall out all right so get the screwdriver and just slide it out here very easy that can be done over here like this way so the inside there's nothing much already mentioned we do have like the motor uh, the power supply you can still look in it now because they use like a translucent one but because of the prototype but beside that there will be like some minor changes in the newer model especially when it comes to the power supply but the most of the things which you see over here will be the same but again we will see it when the main product comes in but again the slider everything is made so basic and there is nothing much that can be basically wear out very quickly so the machine can just be plugged in over here with a euro cable you can just turn it on or a three pins cable and that's it like the power supply this is like translucent and you can just look into it but in the newer models everything will be completely made differently but again this was a prototype and in the new version you cannot reach the power supply anymore but nevertheless this is what we're going to get with the coin pusher prototype the latest version will also make a review about that because i wanted to see what they changed out and how was the final product yeah thanks for watching consider subscribing hit that little bell let me know in the comments what do you think of the coin pusher in general would you like consider buying it we'll leave a link in the description where you can find it and don't forget we're also going to give away one of them so the giveaway will be ending in 10 december like join me in the wicked gamer subscribe hit little bell i will leave a link where you can find the giveaway and yeah join me before it ending and i'm going to make one person very happy with a coin Porsche 65 and it's going to be freaking epic it will be great to see you in the next video